Let's talk about what's going to happen. This is our TrueCast model. Five o'clock this morning, uh, just about 20 minutes, half hour from now, you can see the snow Bloomington to Terre Haute. Watch this lift to the north, and what you're looking at, the darker the blue, the heavier the snow. And you can see how dark blue this is along and south of Interstate 70. Combine the wind of 40 miles per hour, visibilities will be below a quarter of a mile. This continues then south and east of Indianapolis with heavy intensity 9 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock. We're taking this in two hour increments. Notice how the color changes. By 1 o'clock, we're starting to see the lighter blues with the heaviest snow off to the east. The wind continues after the heaviest snow ends, which means blowing and drifting and reduced visibility, but the heavier accumulations will be over by then. Let's review 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. the period of heaviest snow. I wouldn't be surprised, and we'll hear from you, and you can find us at theindychannel.com or on our Facebook page. If you hear a rumble of thunder later this morning with the snow, 6 to 10 inch snowfall potential for Indianapolis and areas to the east and southeast, and there your wind gusts at 40 miles per hour. One more thing I want to say. Why are we calling this a blizzard? Well, because of the wind and the visibility combination. The snow is significant, but it's the sustained winds of 35 miles per hour or stronger, reducing visibility to a quarter of a mile or less over a three-hour period. That's kind of the definition of a blizzard. And, of course, we just say that word, and it gives you a connotation of something bigger than your usual snowstorm, and we're certainly in that situation.